So your Hexabot robot is now complete. Let's go over how to control it. So right now the, ro the switch on my robot is on. To actually arm the robot, you press start on the PS2 controller and the robot will beep and its legs will activate. So this is now ready to accept commands. You probably want to get it up off the ground before it can actually walk, and that's accomplished with the up and down D-pad buttons on the controller. Pressing up will raise the robot off the ground. Pressing down will lower it again. When you first start the robot, it will be in walking mode to begin with. So just using the left analog stick will make the robot walk forward, backward, and left and right. Note that the robot's body is staying in the same orientation this entire time. And then the right analog stick can be used to turn, so spin the robot around in a circle. Then, pressing the select button will change the gait of the robot, in other words, the way that it walks. So if we press that one, you should be able to see that it uses a different gait than it did before. This is a triangle gait. If we press it one more time, it'll use a different one. Press select again to select a different gate. The crawling gate. And this is a tiptoe gate. So the robot has all of those different gates it's able to walk with. You can increase and decrease the speed of the gate as well using the left and right analog buttons. So you can turn the gate way down, and it will walk very slowly. Or it can be made to walk quickly as well. The last mode in the walking commands is balance mode. That's activated using the square button. Let's turn down the speed a little bit. In balance mode, the robot will keep the, its body level as best it can. So that's basically all of the commands for walk mode. There are a couple of other modes that you can enter. Let's turn off balance mode. One is shift mode, activated using the L1 button. Shift, in shift mode, the robot's legs stay planted on the ground, and the body, using the left analog stick, can shift staying horizontal to the ground for the most part. Or, using the right analog stick, rotate along the yaw axis. So that's shift mode. The other mode in which the robot keeps its legs planted on the ground is rotate mode. That one is activated using L2. In rotate mode, the left analog stick controls the pitch and roll for the robot. And the right analog stick again controls rotation along the yaw axis. That is rotate mode, but the entire time the legs are planted on the ground. Shift mode and rotate mode are toggles, so pressing it a second time will take off those modes. When you're done using the robot, press start again and it will deactivate. And that's about all there is for in running the robot.